It is Saturday. Which means Mike's home. Yay! Are you ready to do all the things? We have 15 big pieces of furniture we need to pick up. We need to redesign my entire booth. And I need to repaint all the rooms. Let's do it. I don't need any coffee. I really don't need any coffee. No. So now we get Starbucks. Yeah, this person almost just I saw. ran over the curb. Oh my gosh. <laughs> have you ever tried the egg white roasted pepper egg bites before? Oh no. Today's gonna be the day. Today okay. you're gonna try them. I'm considering getting the mushroom one. Somebody mentioned the mushroom one that it was really good and I'm thinking about getting that as well. I'm hungry. It is 12.30. I mean, it's what? 9.30. Oh my gosh. Two grande ice vanilla latte breves with a pump of caramel. You too. I want to try the kale. I'm with the kale. We're, we, I, we're sharing. Oh. It's hot. Oh god. It's oh, bad girl. Hot. They give you a fork that does this. There. I love them. You don't like them? They're, Not even this one? They're uh, they're very like, gooey. It feels. I don't know. I don't like the inside texture. Yeah, I don't. You like, don't like the sponginess. No. It just tastes. It tastes like uh, regurgitated. Uh, what? Egg. Get out. I think we should buy stock in this place. Mmm. Give them enough money. Scent sickles. Never heard of that before. Have you ever heard of a scent sickle? Yeah, it's like an icicle, but it smells. Christmas tree, white fur, and then like a berry. Should we try some? When Which one would smell the most like Christmas? The Christmas, Christmas tree, tree one or <laughs> the white winter fur? Probably the Christmas tree, because we already got pine in there. We'll try it. They're $79, Jesus. I did say don't cheap out, but I'm gonna cheap out. <laughs> This is the priority for me, to be able to disconnect and come down so that I can give the dogs a bath in the bath. And then also tall enough for you to be comfortable, because right now that one's too low. Well, it's going to stay low. It's I know, but it could, yeah, yeah, that, or it could just oh, retire, like they, like these kind of. Look at this system, babe. $230. Look, all the way up and down, one that you can grab to come lower, and a shower top. And it massages you there. Is that it? There's a car, a truck. Good. We forgot. Space. This is black box. I was also considering this color for the wall in my antique booth, but I ended up using urbane bronze. You can see how similar they are. When we were at Lowe's though, I asked for them to mix me the black fox at 75%. And to be honest, it looks like it's the same color. <laughs> So I think we'll do a comparison test on all three of these later. It's a really rich, almost chocolatey brown. I feel like that's the wrong way to describe it as well. It's a little more warm considering it for a project. When Mike and I were loading things inside from the truck, I had a moment and I think I figured out how, well, the beginnings. I think I figured out the beginnings of the next reset. I'm gonna show you. It's not complete, obviously, and I don't have all the things and I need to source. Come with me on this journey. The brass and crystal chandelier that Tori found the other day. And we can include this piece in the vision, right? It works. This, this, then over here, we have a concrete uh, cardinal. I don't know what to call those, but rusty metal flowers yard, ornaments. Then over here we have some concrete turtles, a burl wood clock, a metal bird bath, and we'll include this burgundy velvet sitting chair in it as well. And the skinny white cabinet. I don't know, can you all see? Oh, he is in everything all the time, aren't you buddy? But do you guys see what I'm saying? I think I'm onto something here. Oh, and I was having like a crisis of color. I picked up that black fox and I was like, whoa, that color would look amazing up against this brass and crystal, that concrete, even up against this rust. I mean, it's on this these metal pieces already, that color. 
Yeah. The black fox was an option for that wall, and that's the color that's on top that's drying. I remembered that I also had a sample of fired earth, and I put that on there as well, and that's that middle color, really rich, and then that's the urbane bronze. All these are drying right now, and here's the paint can. The bottom color is the black fox, the darker color is the fired earth, and then the color drying on top is the urbane bronze, but that's also the color on the can. So that kind of gives you an idea. All of them on the warmer side, so the urbane bronze has kind of a green undertone. Fired Earth has more of a plum purple undertone. And I think Black Fox does too, but has a little more yellow in it. I'm not gonna have a breakdown right now and go paint it a whole new color. Like that would be crazy. I'm just gonna keep it the Urbane Bronze for right now. But man, in the future, if I ever get sick of it, I'm going with one of these other colors. I don't know, I'm just kind of ranting right now. I'm really excited about what that all could look like. I can see it in my head and it looks, it looks really good and I almost kind of want to make it like, oh no, no, no. Do I want to save all that for Luckets? I mean, it's not that many pieces. No, 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 no. This, these will be booth pieces. These will be booth pieces, that, yeah. Too early. It's not, it's never too early to really start saving up for luckets, but I need, I would need to feel good about the booth situation before I do that. Okay. I need to go edit for a bit and Mike is going to start working on replacing the shower head and the, um, what is it? Shower curtain rack bar, shower curtain bar thing. Wow. And I need to have some coffee apparently. Okay. Did I get you? She did it on purpose. I didn't though. Are you okay? Ugh. Did I get your shoulder or your head? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm sorry. All right, we're good. It was that easy? Yeah. Awesome. Think that'll reach down? To where the dogs will be. Yeah. You're going to be getting a bath in the near future. We're going to close off the vlog for today. I think we're both just ready to chill out. Mm-hmm. Veg out. Veg time. See y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.